Hi, it's Brooke, and today I have another Thread Up goodie box for you. This is my third Thread Up goodie box. I have had one other that I just made an order from that didn't go very well, so I have found that I like the goodie boxes better. This top is from the first goodie box I got. It's just an American Eagle top, long sleeve, a little bit cropped with the hood. The second goodie box, I asked for all dresses, and that was quite funny. I will link both of those below so you can see them. And then this one, I asked for all oversized tops. I updated all my size information to basically mediums and then I said I would like oversized tops and if you have to like size up in a brand to get the top to be oversized for my size I'm perfectly fine with that. So let's see what kind of tops they sent me. So here's my big box they send. They do send a price sheet and then a return label that you just stick back on the box for anything you do, don't want. And you just go on the website and check out or whatever. Kind of like Stitch Fix, but use clothing. The goodie boxes are a $10 styling fee. So I'm gonna go through my clothes first and then we'll do a try on and then we'll go through prices at the end and kind of see what I'm gonna keep or not keep. So I got two piles here. So the first thing I pulled out was an Adidas sweatshirt. It says US large. And it's just a nice loose hooded sweatshirt. It does have that like smooth kind of active wear feel and it does have a thumb hole which I usually do not like because I have really long arms and it stretches my collars funny. So we will see what I think of that. And then ooh, this is a big thick something. This is from American Eagle. It's a size medium. Oh, this looks like a poncho. It has some fringe. Well, not a poncho, but like um, like a kimono, runa, cardigan thing. The sleeves are just like this. This little square ones. And that is super oversized. And it's really pretty colors. It's like a gray and a cream. So that has potential. I will need a shirt to wear under that. So hopefully there's something in here maybe I can wear under it. This is Silence and Noise size medium and it looks like a cardigan v-neck cardigan with a zipper and it's just kind of a marbled brown and black gray kind of with the hmm that is a very unique look and then this is must be Romeo and Juliet there's a bunch of like little plastic tags in there this is a size medium and it looks like kind of an oversized crop sweater maybe with three-quarter length sleeves I don't know maybe they'll be longer maybe they're more of like a dolman sleeve nice kind of gray and tan color not super soft it's kind of that itchy wool feeling so that's the first stack so we got an anthropology size large um yellow what's a scoop neck um tunic it has the little cuffs on the sleeves and then the rounded hem on the bottom so I definitely say that's more of like a tunic top this is oh LL Bean signature size 14 it's just like a button-up um, well half button up long sleeve another kind of tunic top it's um that like you know button up fabric or whatever kind of stiff not very stretchy not really into the long tunic sleeved kind of shirts anymore so we'll have to see what that looks like on this is a large from old navy and it just has the like cowl neck and then the dolman sleeves and it is a little shorter has the little like v kind of goes up here and this is definitely see-through so you'd have to wear cam me underneath and I don't do tank tops underneath because I get so hot. So, it's okay. This is a Kos size large. Has the like the pin tuck kind of thing right here where it flares out. This is short sleeved. This is a little different so we'll have to see how that fits. I do like just this gray color that it has. It's soft, you know, thinner. Two more. This is a zip up from Champion, dual dry size large. Looks like the C9 Champion from Target a while ago. Missed that athletic material. No thumb holes in this one. I'm not, yeah, that doesn't thrill me at all. Then we got a cabbie size large. Just another long sleeve thin shirt. This is a v-neck and I'm thinking it is just a straight hem. Okay so we have a pile of clothes there to try on. It's just tops. I do have on my American Eagle like curvy skinny jeans and kind of a light to medium blue because usually if I wear oversized tops it's usually with my skinny jeans or my leggings so that's the bottoms I'm gonna have on but I'm gonna position the camera so you can kind of just see the top and we'll see what these are like. 
So this is, I'm going to go backwards. This is the last top we looked at. The like seafoam green has a little bit like of a collar line. The sleeves are nice and long. It is a nice length. I think I could definitely wear this with leggings. It's got a nice spring color. Nice and light, and it is soft. So this has potential to see what the price is on it. But I do like this just to kind of throw around and do some cleaning or whatever around the house. You could easily do a front tuck to give it a little bit more character. This one isn't bad. This is that zip up. The sleeves are not too long. It's just, yeah, not interested in a shirt like this. I have a zip up and it's just okay. I mean, it fits nice. It does have like the round hem in the back there. So it goes a little longer over your booty, but not for me. So this is that really like flowy top and it comes like the edge of it comes clear up like past my <laughs> waistline and I have high rise jeans on. Yeah, this has no shape. Looks like I'm wearing, yeah, yuck. Like a plastic sack or something. There's nothing for me. This I could see could kind of be a fun top if you were pregnant maybe. I don't know but no not for me. <laughs> so this is that old navy top. It is definitely see-through. I do not have a shirt on underneath so you can definitely see my skin through. It has a nice little like three-quarter length sleeve. Comes down nice but yeah, it's just super see-through. It is nice and light. Cowl neck's nice. Has a fun little stripe there, but I cannot wear tank tops right now. I overheat, so there's no way I would be able to wear this because I feel like I could see everything. It's going to be a no on this one. Although, I do like the color and every, the shape of it and everything like that. Here's the buffalo check tunic. Um, It fits nice. Doesn't pull too bad in there. It has the like, you know, the little collarless collar. Has a nice length. It is a little tighter around here just because it has no stretch. Could definitely wear this with leggings, but I just do not like this collar on me for some reason. It just never hits me right and it's just a little more dressy than I would like. Fits really nice. And with some black leggings, it'd be pretty cute. So I don't know. I'll have to see what the price on this is, but it's not a bad one. Nice and long in the back for just a little bit of a dressier top. I'll have to think about this one. And it doesn't look bad like tucked in. Now the more that I mess with it, let me know what you think on this one. <sighs> so <laughs> it's a really long one, but then it does come up a little higher on the sides. It has the cute little tab on the cuff, but it is, I mean, it's oversized, but it's too big. So it's not oversized, it's just like too big and baggy. And this color yellow does nothing for me. So this is a big fat no. I kind of had hopes about this, but even tucked in, yeah, no. This would look good on a lot of people, but it just does not fit me properly. First off, I want to show you that the like collar like has this up dip. I don't know if of the tag, maybe I put it on backwards, but I did not. I have done that before. I like the shape of it. It's like that fun dolman. The sleeves aren't too long. Like, so I think you could kind of do a off shoulder with it, but it is itchy. It feels itchy on my arms. It's not super soft. This like thing throws me off. I do not have the right color jeans for it, in my opinion. On, you could put it like farther back and it's more cropped. Yeah, this is gonna, I don't need any sweaters. And it just is a little itchy and doesn't fit perfect. We have three more. So this is just an, an, a new day like little t-shirt top from Target. And then this is that zip up cardigan. It reminds me of clothes my mom used to wear, but I can't figure out the decade. Like, I don't think it's 80s, but I don't think it's like completely 90s. Maybe that like kind of in between stage, but it has nice long sleeves, does have pockets. And I think if I had the right top to wear underneath, it could be super cute because it has a nice length to it and everything, but, I have, like, I don't like this. I have no idea what you would wear underneath of this. And you can't, I mean, you could wear it by yourself, but like, it goes down to here. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure things would be hanging out. I don't know if a nice, like, little, like, lacy kind of camisole, I think that would maybe, I don't know. I don't own anything like that, but it does have nice pockets and the sleeves are nice and long. It's not like a super heavy weight. It's not super thin either. You know, yeah, you would have to. To get like the full effect of it, you have to have it zipped. So if you know what kind of top you'd wear under this, let me know because I don't know. But I kind of like it in a weird sort of retro way. Hmm. 
You just kept the same white tee on. Here's the kimono runa. I don't know. This is super long, pretty much to my knees. I'm trying to show you. It's a nice color, nice weight. I love the different like patterns and textures on it. It's just another one of those things that I don't exactly know what to wear underneath other than just a t-shirt. And if I'm gonna be wearing short sleeves, this is gonna be too hot for me for like a kimono runi. Runa. Usually mine are a little like the thinner material, but this is super fun and like cozy. You can definitely cuddle up in this. Just don't think I would get use out of it just because I wouldn't know what to wear. We have the Adidas sweatshirt left and then we'll go over the prices. Okay, first off, it has a really high neck. And there's the little Adidas thing. I couldn't find that before. Got my thumbs through the holes. They kind of like, I can tell it's pulling. Like there's a pulling on my thumb. So you wouldn't have to use those, but they're there, why aren't you using them? And you know, it's a nice length, it's a little tight, even for a large. I like just a regular sweatshirt better than like the athletic ones anymore. And this is like kind of choky, so I knew this would be a no, but here it is. Maybe if I send it back, they'll put it back on and you'll have a chance at it if you're really looking for something like this, but not for me. Let's find out prices. So total savings is $463. So let's go over first. So the Old Navy pullover sweater, the burgundy, says estimated retail $45 and then this is $30.99, which isn't a really big discount in my opinion just because um, Old Navy has like 50% off sales all the time or 40% off. So this will be going back. I do like the color and the style. I just don't like the see-throughness. So that's a no. So the gray coast top, or COS, it has no shape or anything, was regularly $79, and they're charging $18.99. Um, I don't know who would pay $79 for this, but $18.99 isn't horrible if it looks good on you, but it did not look good on me. <laughs> so that will be going back. So the women's Romeo and Juliet Couture Pullover estimated retail is $167. They are charging $37.99. It's just too itchy. I don't really need another sweater like that but I did like the fit of it and kind of the look of it but it's just not something I need especially for that price so the cabby t-shirt the green one that I first tried on the like nice thin one estimated retail is 84 and they are selling it for $26.99 which kind of high I would say for just like a long sleeve t-shirt but not too bad I don't know especially for use but I suppose if it was supposed to be 84 what are you gonna do the adidas pullover was 90 and they are selling it for $59.99. Yeah, I do not like this. That's way too expensive for a sweatshirt. That will be going back. Okay, the C9 by Champion Women's Zip Up, they're saying was $30 and they're charging $13.99, which is about right. I'm just not interested. It's a nice zip up but not what i'm looking for the women's silence and noise cardigan was this um, one with the zipper this like retro <laughs> one with the zipper um they're saying it retail for 60 and they're selling it for 22.99 which isn't too bad i would say and then the american eagle outfitters cardigan they're saying retail for 50 and they're charging 20.99 which i think that's a good price for this it's an excellent shape i wouldn't know how to wear it it's just not my style but it's really pretty just not for me and then the ll bean signature button down they're saying retailed for 71 and they're charging 23.99 which that's not a bad ll bean can be expensive and this is a nice top um it's a nice like dressy top i'm kind of considering this um even for 24 that's not too bad so this is the kimmy and kin t-shirt 60 dollars, and they're charging 20.99 which isn't bad it just doesn't fit me it's too big not a shirt that really you can wear oversized in my opinion and my yellow did not look very good. So my three favorites are this sage green um, long sleeve shirt, the L.L. Bean like button up shirt, the tunic length one, and then this uh, retro uh, zip up cardigan. <laughs> I don't know why but I like that too. One of them, the green is $26.99 the cardigan is $22.99 and the button down is $23.99. I do get my $10 back if I bought something. So, you know, I would roughly spend 17 to 13 more dollars just depending on if I just got one thing or all three so I'm gonna have to think about that you let me know what you thought of all these clothes and you think I should get another goodie box maybe like a summer one coming up or something I thought here in a month or so 
I like to get them every like two to three months. I don't need them every month because usually I don't keep anything. <laughs> So um, I'm glad I have three of them that I like though compared to other boxes where I've sent everything back. So that is nice. So I hope you enjoyed this little thread up try on haul and let me know what you think and hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.